But we're going to uh, turn it over to pre our President Jeff Nelson right now for the Botanical Awards Ceremony. Okay. Thank you, Tara, uh, Kendall. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, for several years, uh, OK, uh, the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves uh, used to award uh, uh, various conservation awards. And uh, in the last few years, we've the Kentucky Native Plant Society has joined together with them uh, <clears throat> to uh, issue awards to people who uh, sign commit significant conservation actions uh, in the year. Um, and this year we received nominations for uh, and, and giving out awards for two different awards. The first one is the Kentucky Native Plant Society Stewardship Award for 2023. The uh, Stewardship Award is given to a person or agency that has significantly contributed to native plant community stewardship in Kentucky in 2023. And the winner this year is Zachary Beyer. Uh, he's the Barron's Region Preserve Manager for OK. PN. Um, and let me just read the uh, uh, nomination uh, that was submitted for him. Mr. Byer serves as the preserve manager in the Barrens and Western regions for OKNP. Byer manages regions with many remnant glades and prairies. These soil and fire driven communities are degrading and being lost all across the Commonwealth. Fire works away from the eyes of many that would admire the effort and work that he puts into maintaining and preserving these communities. Through restoration, maintenance, and partnerships, fire constantly works to improve these habitats. The obligate species found in these habitats are often species that are being tracked or are species that are listed. And an individual who is humble and does not look for a pat on the back but would rather give recognition to someone else. I believe Byer is the ideal candidate for this war. I hope the committee takes Mr. Byer into consideration. And the committee agreed and uh, is happy to uh, present that award to him. Uh, Zach, are you online? Uh, would you like to like to say anything? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Um, I'm definitely honored to receive this award. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty fortunate to be in a professional position where I get to help um, conserve these plants and communities, um, as well as work with our OKMP team, um, partners, and adjacent landowners. So, yeah, thank you all. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Zach, and, and thank you for everything you do. We, we yeah. certainly appreciate it. Uh, the second award. Uh, uh, that we are giving out this year is the Kentucky Native Plant Society uh, Individual Plant Conservation Award. And this is given to a person who has contributed significantly to Kentucky conservation in 2023. And uh, although the uh, award uh, although the award uh, description, uh, says person, uh, the award this year is going to uh, two people, uh, Jim Chef and Tina Marie Camp Chef. Uh, they are, uh, uh, have done amazing work, uh, but what I would like to do is uh, uh, turn it over to uh, the group that uh, nominated uh, Jim and Tina for the award. Uh, the, uh, so uh, Whitney, uh, Whitney Hamblin, uh, could you uh, pop in and and uh, I'm here. Can you, can do that? Hear me? And... Yes, we Jeff, can hear you. Okay, great. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Whitney, and I am the Communications and Outreach Coordinator for Kentucky Heartwood. Um, for those of you that do not know of Kentucky Heartwood, uh, we are the only forest advocacy nonprofit in the state. Um, we were founded in 1992 and have been working to protect our public lands from commercial extraction since. Um, I am so happy to be here today to tell you about my friends Jim and Tina. 
Um, since they do most of their field work together, we've nominated them as a duo. Jim and Tina have worked extensively on rare conservation, both in the Daniel Boone National Forest and on privately owned properties that they steward. They've been deeply involved in wood lily conservation efforts and have found and identified numerous rare and sensitive plants throughout the state of Kentucky, but especially in the Cumberland Plateau. In the iNaturalist Project, Kentucky Plants of Conservation Concern, they are number 12 and number 13 rank for the list of identifiers. In the Daniel Boone National Forest Project on iNaturalist, Tina is the number one identifier with over 1,500 observations and 432 different species. Jim and Tina have dedicated themselves to the restoration, preservation, and protection of rare ecosystems during their tenure with Kentucky Heartwood. Since joining the organization, I have had the privilege of working with both of them in the field and you know, witnessing their passion and commitment to this in action is inspiring and infectious. Um, these two individuals have made it their life's work to ensure that our wild places stay wild. So guys, congratulations to you both. Thank you for all that you contribute. And we really couldn't do any of this without you. Thank you, Whitney and, and Jim. Tina, if you're online, would you like to uh, say a few words? Yeah, you want me to talk? Uh, we're super humbled and, and, and honored and thank you, Whitney and, and, and Warren for nominating us and the Native Plant Society for, for honoring us like this. I think this is, uh, probably the coolest bunch of folks to be, uh, recognized by and, and, uh, so yeah, humbled, appreciative, honored. Thanks. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for what you do, and and uh, uh, we know you're going to keep up that good work. So, uh, hope to see you out in the field sometime. So, likewise. Okay, uh, let me just say that uh, uh, to everyone, uh, we were kind of uh, uh, got got confused a bit this year, and uh, uh, we're a little late in in putting out requests for nominations. Uh, we're going to do better next year. So uh, think about uh, uh, people or organizations uh, that uh, are doing great work in, in conservation and that in the state and uh, uh, nominate them for next year. And I think, uh, Tara, did you want to say just a couple things uh, about the conservation awards? So, uh, <clears throat> sure. I mean, I, I know both the folks that that have uh, been awarded. Zach, I work with him at, at, at Nature Preserves, and he does some fantastic work. Uh, Jim and Tina, I just wanted to give an extra shout out, you know, beyond just this past year, I've known them for over 15 years now, and, and they're continually, you know, out there, um, you know, cataloging species and, and uh, you know, finding rare species. Um, so I just really appreciate them. And uh, yeah, that, that's all. Keep up the good work. Great. Thank you, Tara. Uh, 